Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked for this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Anoto Platinum Jubilee Overlay. And we have an Anoto Colt Pens Exclusive Christmas Cowl. I think it was 2021 edition. We have an Anoto Christmas Cowl 2022 Prototype. We have a Mont Blanc, and this is the Le Petit Prince Aviator Due. We have a Mont Blanc uh, Brothers Grimm. We have an Anoto Platinum Jubilee uh, Sterling Silver, an Anoto Coronation in Sterling Silver. We have an Anoto Great Roof, and this is the Metallic Edition. We have a Mont Blanc uh, Writer's Edition Jules Verne, and uh, we have an Anoto. And this is the uh, Charles Dickens David Copperfield. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up in a little bit more detail. So this is the Anoto Platinum Jubilee Overlay. And this is a pen that I really like the look of. I, I wanted the Platinum Jubilee in Sterling Silver along with the Coronation. But this one just kept gnawing at me, saying that I needed to buy it. I like the contrast of the black here. I like the silver and I like the gold trims. So I eventually did uh, buy this one. Um, I do like it a lot. It's got this like pinstripe effect on the body uh, with that lovely, beautiful sterling silver overlay there. Very, very captivating. Uh, if I unscrew the cap, you'll see it's got a number seven size. Uh, a Noto 18 cat gold nib, and that's a medium nib. Um, this does have a cartridge converter. Most of my Notos are, well, actually all of my Notos are cartridge converters, uh, although I do have a few plunger fillers now um, that I can interchange. Um, this is a very light pen on its own. Um, you, The cap is probably about three or four times the weight of the body. You can post the cap, but you'll notice that it doesn't actually grip. So um, it, it's, it will spin, and if you're like writing with it, eventually you're going to push that off a little bit. So it's not, I'd say, really designed to be posted, which is a shame. Um, it might just be my version of the pen. I don't know. Uh, I've not really spoken to a noter about it. I'm not a cap poster, as most of you know, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, and I really wouldn't be posting that cap anyway, because trying to post that cap is very back-weighted on that pen, being a very light pen you really want the center of gravity to be much lower around about the section or where the cap band is here so if you're going to post all of this silver on the back end of the pen it's just going to be very back weighted so for that reason i don't post that cap normally uh the next pen was a uh a noto colt pens exclusive i think it was 2021 uh they made a christmas cow edition for colt pens and it was only 10 pens that were made. Uh, I'm trying to get that in. You can probably see that. 10 pens. And this is number 9 of 10. Now, these hadn't sold out. I think they still had... Uh, when I bought this in 23... Was it 23? Uh, maybe 22. But they still had like 3 pens or 4 pens remaining. And it was in the uh, sale. Uh, so I decided I'd buy one. I had the option of having one with a gold nib, having one with a steel nib. I went with a steel nib purely because I worked out that in the sale that the steel nib was such a great deal. I could buy an aftermarket Anoto nib from Anoto, add it to the pen if I wanted to, and it would still be cheaper than actually buying it in the sale with an 18 karat gold nib. So quite insane. But that said, I knew I was going to ink this up with um, a glitter ink. And just purely because of all of this, um, and I'm not into black inks, so I got it with a broad nib, and I, I kind of wanted a medium, but I could only get it in a broad steel nib. And to be honest, I'm actually glad I got it in a broad steel nib because this pen writes very well, uh, and I think the broad nib helps it write with the the glitter ink that I have in there. Now, 
you can post that cap and it will post deeply and securely. I'd say the majority of a Noto pens will post um, the caps. Uh, the ones that typically don't or don't do as well are normally the sterling silver pens. So if you are a cap poster and you're really looking at maybe some of these sterling silvers, I'd just err on the side of caution, maybe talk to a Noto first before buying it because uh, my experience is a lot of the sterling silver pens do not post and they're not really designed to be posted. So just be aware of that if you're liking the look of these Anotos and you really want to splash out on a sterling silver. The next pen uh, inked up is the Christmas Cowl from Anoto. This is a 2022 and it's a prototype. Uh, they only made in 2022 for Christmas, they only made 22 of these, hence 2022 the year. So these sold really quickly and I was surprised that within about a month, uh, just before Christmas, they'd all sold out and I kicked myself because I kind of wanted one of these and I just sat and sat. There were other pens I wanted and that I bought, uh, but this was one that got away. So when I met up with um, a Noto in uh, June 23, I actually mentioned to them and said, look, I really wish I could have got that pen. Um, maybe I could get another one, maybe a custom one made or something like that. And and thank from a Noto said, actually, I've got a prototype. There were two prototypes and I've got the last prototype. If you want it, you can have it. And I was like, yeah, just give it to me because I, I, I wanted it. So um, he didn't have it with him on uh, at the time. So uh, I uh, um, picked it up at the London Pen Show in October 23. Really glad I did. It's a beautiful pen. I love that sort of chatoyant green. Uh, I believe it's diffusion bonded acrylic that they're using here. Um, at least that's what the Inoto website stipulates. Uh, beautiful pen, really, really nice. Um, the the alternating sort of black and colour here is uh, the normally the Charles Dickens model of pens. Uh, so I, I really do like this type of pen. Uh, it's got a little bit of a pen stripe as well going on here as well around that diffusion bonded acrylic. Uh, I've got a number seven size medium nib. Writes beautifully. Uh, so glad that I picked this up um, or, or was able to add it to my collection because I thought it was long sold out. And th this is a, sort of a, a typical example of a lot of my pens is that uh, you will, in your in your collecting spree, you will miss out on pens and, and you kind of kick yourself and you say, well, okay, maybe it wasn't to be. Uh, maybe I should have been more alert. I should have been looking at the right times and you just have to think, well, it wasn't for me. But then maybe a year or two or three years later, that pen will turn up. Now, granted, it might be secondhand. It might be used. It might have been inked. It might not have been inked. But you can still at some point find that pen. It's just knowing where to look, keeping an eye out for it. Uh, letting other friends know that that would not be interested in that pen uh, to to look out for you. Because a lot of time people will come to me and say, hey Dave, I know you're into Visconti or I know you're into Anoto. Would you be interested in this pen? Or I saw this pen at a online retailer or an, an eBay auction. And, and I'll go and check and it'd be like, yeah, that's not the pen I wanted, but thanks. Uh, but then sometimes it's like, yes, that's the pen I wanted. So you can normally pick them up even once they're long sold out. The next pen inked up is the Mont Blanc, and it's the La Petite Prince uh, Aviator or Aviator uh, Due. Uh, it's a um, platinum body, um, and it's got this lovely leather cap to it. And you've got a plane on here. Uh, this is a beautiful pen. I've seen this pen many times. It's, I believe, long sold out. You, you can still get it. You can get it on eBay. But some of the prices are just insane. Uh, I was able to get this for uh, a really good price. Second hand, uh, never inked. And a beautiful pen. 
Uh, I wasn't into Mont Blancs, and I would want to say I really still am not into Mont Blancs, but I have like five uh, Mont Blancs, I think. Uh, well, five writer's editions, I think. Um, so th this has got a beautiful nib there. It's a number six size nib. These are piston filling pens. Uh, you can post the cap. It's not really going to post deeply. It's I'd almost say it's not postable. Um, and, and I would say that that is the same for the majority of the Mont Blanc writer's editions. There are a few exceptions, and I'll go into that uh, in a little bit, actually, because one of them is in this tray right now. Uh, the next pen, again, I lucked. I, I just, I was so lucky at this one. I, I bought this Aviator from Royal Izod's, and within a few days... I was looking for a Brothers Grimm, and I found this one at a really good price at uh, a jeweler's. And uh, they only had one left, and well, they had two, but they got two jeweler's shops. And the one where I'd actually bought it from, which was online, uh, had actually sold it that very day. But they managed to find one at their other store, and then they shipped it to me. I think it took about four days to ship, uh, but uh, I'm glad that I picked this up. I would really like the more expensive version of the Brothers Grimm, but you're looking at around about £3,000 upwards, and I'm just not going to pay that. As, as beautiful as the, the more expensive pen is in silver and gold, it's just, I don't know. I We all have theoretical uh, limits on what we're prepared to pay for a pen, like what our upper ceiling is. And... That is way over my upper ceiling limit. So, uh, as much like if if I found one for maybe you know, two thousand or less, then I might be uh, willing to buy one if I've not bought a pen for some time. Uh, but for now, I'm loving this Brothers Grim. Uh, again, it's not designed to be posted, unfortunately. Uh, so again, it's it's not going to sit on there, and that's the typical sort of what the Mont Blanc Writers Editions are like. Um, but you've got a, a Brothers Grimm uh, nib there, uh, and you've got this sort of like bark effect going on on that pen. Uh, very, very nice pen. Uh, glad that I picked it up. I picked it up for, I, I want to say a steal. It was definitely, I think about 20% less than um, most places were selling it for. Um, so... I got it for a good price, very good price. Uh, the next pen uh, I bought uh, here, is, uh, have inked up, is the Anoto Platinum Jubilee Sterling Silver. And yet these are not cheap pens. And yes, they are around the £3,000 mark or £2,500. Um, I got a deal on a pair. So I did pay a lot of money. But I equally know that it's sterling silver, so I can easily get my money back if I wanted to to sell this at any point. Uh, this has an Anoto number seven size medium nib. Um, now you can post the cap, but sterling silver this this cap weighs a ton, um, and it does have some uh, plastic threads in there though, uh, just to stop the metal on metal threads squeaking. Which, to be honest, never really bothered me on an Anoto. I know it bothered others, like Anthony at UK Fountain Pens really hated the metal on metal threads, um, but it didn't bother me. And but I, yeah, I have to say I, I do like that it doesn't squeak a little bit when you're screwing the cap on. Um, this has a, a very beautiful uh, overlay. Well, say overlay. This is the overlay version. This is. Uh, engraved into that sterling silver it's not an overlay pen uh, solid sterling silver 925 beautiful pen love it a lot um, so I have that one inked up this week I also have the Inoto Coronation pen and this was at the time Queen Elizabeth II had passed away I kind of wanted something to remember her by which was I, I was deliberating on this pen and then I went for this pen then later on, I went for this pen. Um, but what I really wanted was the coronation pen because this, the King Charles III coronation pen, 
this pattern is really beautiful. Uh, it really, really speaks to me. Uh, I really do like that. It's a beautiful sterling silver pen uh, with gold trim. Uh, has a number seven size, 18 karat gold, medium nib. Um, again, you can post that cap and it will post deeply or, or at least, well, maybe not deeply. It will post sort of semi-securely, but it's so back weighted. You're not going to want to do so. Um, the Platinum Jubilee and the Coronation did come uh, for me with a plunger. I have since swapped that out for uh, a cartridge converter pen. Some of you have asked me why have I downgraded to a cartridge converter. Um, partly, like if I were to sell these, I would sell them with the plunger, uh, probably and a cartridge converter as well as a spare. I did have issues with the plungers on both of these pens. I did have to get them replaced by a Noto. I think the plunger is maybe not quite there yet in terms of the quality. Um, and I had two fail within about a month. So, uh, thankfully, Anoto did the right thing. They did replace the plungers free of charge. Um, did give me a couple of extra converters as well. Uh, but since then, I've actually put... Uh, I did buy some cartridge converters in the meantime, and I've put those in both of those pens. Very, very happy with them. They still write super wet. Uh, I actually find that the plungers uh, would... As I was writing down a sheet of A4 page... It would start to get drier, almost like an airlock slightly, as I wrote. And with the cartridge converter, I don't find that. So uh, that's another reason why I, I am liking those cartridge converters as well. The next pen inked up is the Enoto Great Roof Metallic Edition. So this is the British Museum. It doesn't. This was a custom pen made, uh, not by me. Um, I didn't commission it. It was a, another owner, and then. For whatever reason, they sold it. I, I don't know why. Um, but it, because of that, it didn't have British Museum on the cat band. Kind of wish it did. But I'm also okay that it doesn't. Uh, I wish they'd maybe just put a Noto on the cat band instead, maybe. Or put one of these, like, tri-bands here instead. I think that would have looked probably better. Um, but I do like it. I love this. Uh, the difference between the Great Roof uh, Court... And this version is that uh, it had all of this engraving, but it wasn't filled in in gold. So it didn't look as nice. So when I saw this second hand, I decided, yeah, I'm going to buy this one. And it was a good price at Roy Izod. So uh, I decided to to jump at it. And uh, it's got a, an Anoto um, 18 cat gold uh, size 7 medium nib there. Cartridge converter. Um and I think it came with the 18 karat gold nib. It might have been... I know there was one that came with a steel nib and I swapped it out. It might have been this one. I can't remember, to be honest. Um, but I've got a medium 18 karat gold nib in there and I'm really loving how that one writes. Uh, the next pen is, is a pen I got from a friend. Uh, we did a trade. Uh, this is the Mont Blanc Jules Verne. Uh, edition and this is a pen from 2003 it's got this beautiful sort of Fabergé uh, enameling with a, a guilloche pattern under that enamel very very beautiful um, I'm guessing it's probably sterling silver um, engraved and then the enamel poured on top um, I, I don't know but I'm, I'm guessing that's probably what it is um, I, I exchanged this uh, did a swap pen swap with a friend Tony in Kansas City in the US. Um, we're good friends. He wanted one of my Mont Blanc uh, millionaires, and uh, I know what he was asking for for this. I know what he said he paid for it. And uh, two of my millionaires, which I have, would equal the same as this price. So I decided to give him two. Um, he's, I think, happy. Uh, he definitely was happy when I spoke to him last about it. Um, uh, but um, I I'm happy as well because I've got this Mont Blanc. Uh, the reason being, he has a lot of Mont Blancs. He had this in a medium nib. He wanted it in a fine, had the opportunity, bought a fine and said, look, I'm going to try and get rid of my medium. Do you want it? And I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so this, as I mentioned earlier, is one of those 
that you can post the cap deeply and securely on, on a Mont Blanc Writers Edition. But this is from 2003. So uh, I think uh, most of the Writers Editions that I've tried and, and have um, do not post their caps. So that's just something to bear in mind. Um, all of these Mont Blancs are piston filling pens. Um, that's just a beautiful pen. So I'm, I'm glad Tony and I were able to do the pen exchange. I I kind of would I I said to him I can pay you the money if you want the money or if you want to do an exchange in pen then I can do an exchange with two pens because I don't I could he was actually happy for me to give him one pen but I I didn't really want the remembrance of having the other pen left in my collection thinking I wish I hadn't sold the other pen so I, I was happy to to give him two pens. Uh, and we're, we're good friends and, and he he was okay with that as well, obviously. Uh, he's going to get two pens in, in, instead of one. Um, but I, I'm glad that I did it. And But I also, there's still a, a part of me that says, maybe you shouldn't have, have, have done that exchange. But I knew I wasn't writing with those pens. So for me, it just made more sense in the current climate to do that exchange. And then the last pen uh, inked up this week is the Anoto. And this is a Charles Dickens, David Copperfield. And again, I think, I want to say this was an Izod's pen. Um, yes, it was. I, I was thinking it might have been Dylan Stevens. But I remember I bought this just, I think I ordered it on Christmas Eve or, or the day before Christmas Eve. I saw it on Izod's. And I jumped on it. It was a really good price. Um, very beautiful sort of chatoyance grey there. Uh, again, I think this is a diffusion bonded acrylic. Um, and uh, the nib here, uh, I've got an Anoto 18 count gold uh, medium nib there. I think this one was the one that might have had a steel nib on it. And I swapped it out. Um, the cap will post as well. And it posts deeply and securely. And it just feels really good in my hand. So again, that's a, a cartridge converter. But I have that one inked up with me this week as well. So there you have it. That's my 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So I think the first pen inked up uh, this week is the Anoto Platinum Jubilee Overlay. So I think we'll do a, an ink here. And... This is a wet writing nib. It's a little bit on the coarse side. Uh, when I say coarse, I mean like uh, I rotate my nib slightly to the right and I feel it's a little bit more coarser and not rounded. So I, I feel it when I'm writing a little bit more. Um, I probably will smooth this pen out and actually make it a better writer. Um, it's not that it's not a bad writer. It's just that it, it's not... A nib that I'd go to all the time and go, yes, this is a brilliant nib. So this is the Anoto Platinum Jubilee Overlay. Now, if I am very conscious when I write and I enforce myself not to rotate my nib slightly to the right, it writes very well. So uh, it, maybe I just need to change how I write. Um, it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And uh, the ink in here is uh, diamine graphite, which is uh, a nice uh, dark black ink. Uh, an ink that I like a lot and um, I probably need to use more. Um, I, I use diamine Earl Grey a lot. And um, I probably do need to use Diamond Graphite more. The next pen inked up is the Anoto Colt Pens uh, Christmas Cow. Now, this was a 2021 edition. Only 10 pens. But by summer of 23, it still hadn't sold. And I was quite astounded that out of 10 pens, it hadn't sold. Um so I decided I would buy it in the summer sale. They had a really good price on. Uh, so this is the Anoto Colt Pens 
Christmas Cow. And, and bearing in mind that this would have come out in uh, for December 21. So de December 22 was a whole year. And in December, well, June 23, that's another half year. So it was there for 18 months at Colt Pens. And no one had bought it. And, and there were only 10 of these. So I don't quite know why. Uh, is it because people just don't like buying a Christmas pen, maybe? Um, people buy Christmas inks all the time. Um, now, this is a steel nib I bought it with. Um, but yeah, this rather rather strange, to be honest. Now, the ink in here is Vinter Whiskey Gold. Um, now, I, I would have to say that I don't see a huge amount of notos on sale uh, let's say on a virtual pen show or you see them sometimes on eBay, but you don't see a lot compared to like Visconti or Montegrappa. Um, so it might just be that the Inoto brand being British, a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, certainly in the, in, in the U S maybe. Uh, and that might be part of the reason why it just didn't sell. Um, but glad that I picked that one up. Uh, I'm also glad I picked this one up, which is the Inoto uh, Christmas Cow 2022, and it's a prototype version. So let's do an ink swatch, and this is a very wet nib. Love how this one writes. And typically, that's what I find with most of these Inoto nibs. Now, they're using a Schmidt uh, nib housing, but the nib is a Bock nib. Uh, and the feed, I think, is a Bock feed. Might be a Schmidt feed. Uh, but I do find that, like, I like Viscontis. I love Viscontis for how wet they used to write, like the 23-cap Palladium nibs. These Anoto nibs write just like that. So if you like a Visconti nib, you're going to like the Anoto nibs. So this is the Anoto uh, Christmas Cow. 2022 and it is a prototype only two of these were made uh 22 of the pens plus two prototypes of so 24 i got one of the, the i got the last prototype that was still available uh and it's a medium 18 cat gold nib uh and then the ink in here is diamine meadow which is a beautiful beautiful um green ink uh, I like going between that and Diamine Apple Glory. Uh, I find Diamine Meadow has uh, a lot more shading. Uh, Diamine Apple Glory reminds me very much of an apple, a crisp green apple with not a lot of shading. Um, so I do like uh, Diamine Meadow a lot. The next pen ink top is the Mont Blanc, a Le Petit Prince, uh, Aviator, Douai, uh, Solitaire, uh, Probably a few other names I can't remember, or a few other words. We'll do an ink swatch here, but this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, ink. Um, so this is the Mont Blanc Le Petit Prince um, Aviator. And it's a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. Now, I, I did think, being my first writer's edition when I bought this, maybe I should only ink it up with a Mont Blanc ink. Maybe I should go with maybe Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. Um, this was a second-hand pen. It wasn't a brand new pen. Uh, so I decided I was going to ink it up with something other than a Mont Blanc ink. So uh, I put, and I still have in here, is KWZ New Key brown or newcastle brown as in newcastle brown ale um it's a newcastle uk pen show exclusive ink i don't think there's much of that ink around now um they did beefy to red initially they then did new key brown uh and now they've done old smoke and i know every year i go to a uk pen show or london pen show twice a year uh, I, I notice there's less and less bottles of that, of both Beefy to Red, which I like, and Newkey Brown. So I bought a few more bottles of each uh, at uh, the London Pen Shows in March this year. Uh, I kind of think I should. I really like those inks. Um, 
I'm getting to the stage where I need to downsize my ink collection. I'm only buying ink that I like, that I know I like uh, and already have. Um, and that might be, I might need to buy maybe one or two more bottles of that ink. Because uh, it's going to sell out at some point. Um, the next pen uh, ink tub is the Mont Blanc Brothers Grimm. Um, we'll do a, an ink swatch here. And for the life of me, I can't remember what ink is in this pen. I'm going to have to look it up on my database. So this is the Mont Blanc Brothers Grimm. It's a lovely writer, just like the Aviator. Uh, it's a medium 18 cat gold nib. And I'm going to look it up now because I can't remember. Um, my memory is fading as I get older. No, it's, it's not that. I just have far too many pens and probably far too many pens inked up. So, okay, right. That's, that's interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that it was this ink. It's KWZ Grey Lux. And I honestly thought that was Diamine Graphite. So KWZ Grey Lux is actually, it is a darker black, almost black ink. It's not really grey, uh, just like Diamine Graphite. It's definitely black in, in a lot of my pens anyway. The next pen inked up is the Anoto Platinum Jubilee in Sterling Silver. So we'll do an ink swatch on this one. And this is a nib that I love, a pen that I love. Um, it's just, oh, it, it's beautiful. Um, so this is the Anoto Platinum Jubilee Sterling Silver. And it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib uh, and the ink in here is diamine majestic purple i thought about maybe putting kwz gummy berry in here but honestly this well, when i find an ink that a i like the color b that flows well in that pen i will very rarely change that ink and i will i'll flush it out obviously uh, many times but I will always go back to using that same ink in that pen because I know that it writes really well. And it's, it was probably, and, and in this case, was my first choice of ink. And it was the best choice of ink. And, and I find that with a lot of my pens. Probably 70, 80% of my pens are the, the ink that I choose first time is normally a really good match for that pen and nib. The next pen inked up is your Anoto Coronation in Sterling Silver. So we'll do an ink swatch again. And I knew I wanted to put blue ink in this pen initially when I bought it. Um, I didn't really know what blue ink to put in it. And I kind of wanted a turquoise cerulean blue. I did think of Pilot of Oshizuku Compeki. I did think of maybe Visconti Turquoise. Um, or Lamy, I think Lamy Turquoise, is that another one? Um, can't, yes, Lamy Turquoise. Um, but then I thought, well, I really want a more darker blue. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna try it with this ink. And I just loved it. So this is the Anoto Coronation Pen in Sterling Silver. In a medium, 18 cat gold nib uh, and then the ink in here is kwz hawaii blue um a lot of time i just call it kwz hawaii because i know blue blue luscious uh water or rivers um or ocean uh but i also typically see hawaii's oceans being a lot much lighter blue than this so you know, i'm not so sure it, it really matches up to the name but it's a nice blue ink, and I've got it inked up. The next pen inked up is the Anoto Great Roof uh, Metallic Edition. And I always wanted a gold ink in this one. 
really because of the gold filling uh, of uh, that uh, pa pattern there. Um, normally, I would gravitate towards Pilot Wash Suzuki in a hoe. I still have a bottle and a half of that. It's now end of life. You can't, you can't buy it. I think I want to say you can't buy it anywhere. Like I'm sure there's some places that still have a bottle or two, but um, it's end of life, so it's really difficult to buy a bottle. Um, this is the Anoto Great Court. So I was tempted to put this in uh, this pen, but I haven't done it, and uh, kind of loving this ink, although it's a little bit too light in some cases. It's a medium. It's an 18 count gold nib medium nib and the ink in here is Robert Oster and it's Aussie gold and, and this was an ink that I've seen a friend of mine write uh, with quite a lot and I really like the ink I didn't like how the ink went onto the page I do find on Tomoe River it looks a little bit different a little bit lighter uh, it will still dry as dark as this though but it just goes on lighter and then takes a while to maybe oxidize the next pen inked up is the Mont Blanc Jules Verne and uh, this is a 2003 edition writer's edition and I'm loving this um, I did put a lighter blue in here and this one does write a little bit that the ink writes a little bit drier um, I could probably get away with maybe Lamy turquoise or Visconti turquoise and it will probably be wetter so this is a Mont Blanc, uh, and it's the Jules Verne. It's a writer's edition, uh, and it's a medium, and it's an 18 count gold nib. Um, I do find though that this is a little bit more of a um, feels. Or it, it looks to me in my writing that it looks a little bit more towards an architect nib, not not an architect grind, but. But a little bit somewhere between a normal and an architect. Uh, the uh, ink in here I put was Waterman. Uh, and it's Inspired Blue. And I do like it. I think I'd like it a little bit wetter. Um, it's not dry, but it's also not super wet. So maybe I might swap that to Lamy Turquoise or Visconti Turquoise at some point. But at the moment... I'm loving the colour, I'm loving the shade of that ink, and I probably will still continue to ink that up for a while. And then the last pen uh, inked up is the Anoto Charles Dickens David Copperfield. So we'll do an ink swatch. And, and this was really one of these spur of the moments purchases. I think it was the day before Christmas Eve where I was off work uh for the christmas holiday and i was hunting for pens and this one i just found it was interesting it it wasn't on izod's site but it was on ebay under izod's so i thought i'm sure this pen sold out and i decided i would try and buy it i was half tempted that i was not going to get it but it was in stock so i think roy had made an error on his website unfortunately uh, well, fortunately for me, because I managed to bag this pen. So this is an Anoto, and it's the Charles Dickens. And I probably should have just, just put David Copperfield, because I might run out of space if I'm not careful. Uh, it's a medium, and it is an 18-count gold nib. Um, now, I do need to check the ink, I think... It's going to be KWZ Old Smoke, but I just want to double check that. Charles Dickens. Yeah, it is KWZ Old Smoke. So uh, I was good on that one. Uh, and that is a uh, UK London Pen Show exclusive uh, ink now that you can buy. So I think... Let's now take a look at these pens uh, inked up one more time. We have an Anoto Platinum Jubilee overlay in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with diamond graphite. We have an Anoto Colt Pens Christmas Cowl in a broad steel nib uh, inked up with Vinter Whiskey Gold. 
Uh, we have an Anoto Christmas Cow 2022 prototype in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Darmine Meadow. We have a Mont Blanc La Petit Prince Aviator in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with KWZ Nuki Brown. We have a Mont Blanc a Writer's Edition Brothers Grimm in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with KWZ Grey Lux. We have an Anoto Platinum Jubilee Sterling Silver in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Darmine Majestic Purple. We have an Anoto Coronation Sterling Silver Pen in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with KWZ Hawaii Blue. We have an Anoto Great Quartz Metallic Edition in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Robert Oster Aussie Gold. We have a Mont Blanc Jules Verne in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Waterman Inspired Blue. And then we have an Anoto Charles Dickens David Copperfield in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with KWZ Old Smoke. So there you have it. That's my 10 pens Coney ink for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.